As you take people's pictures, people gather around to look at it and ask to have their pictures taken. So the circle of that moment widens to a small group. And then the second thing that happens is that photo itself, because it's a one-of-a-kind object, because there's no digital file or negative, gets given to the subject. This, as far as I know, is just about unique in photography. It doesn't happen that way with any other form. You know, they won't be digital files that were transferred from phone to computer to the next computer to the next computer and stored away on a hard drive somewhere. Very often, if you will, never see the image again. It's like a artifact of time. Like a ghost came out of the machine. digital image is a stream of dots, ones and zeros. An analog instant picture has three dimensions. It has thickness, thickness, and volume. It weighs something. something. I'd like to describe the invention to end all inventions. I call it the replicator. It's a duplicating machine that can make an exact copy of anything. Confronted with such a device, our present society would probably sink into a kind of gluttonous barbarism. Because everybody would want unlimited quantities of everything, since nothing would cost anything. In fact, cynics may doubt if any human society could survive an invention which would lead to unlimited abundance and the final ending of the curse of Adam. Curse of Adam. Curse, curse of, of Adam. Curse of Adam. Curse of Adam. Curse of Adam. Curse of Adam.